winds and weather. Yeah, they're coming together tomorrow, right? <laughs> yeah, you just add wind to the mix and it would be really lousy, right? Well, thankfully we don't have a lot of wind in our forecast. I'll tell you what makes you think about winter when you start to see these kind of festive lights like at Feltz Park at High Country Lights and Galax. Of course, that is over for tonight, but it's every night between now and the beginning of the year. You were talking about winter weather awareness week, so it's my job to kind of help you prepare by knowing what sort of warnings and advisories we give you when we do anticipate wintry weather. So winter weather advisory is probably our most common uh, advisory that we get because it's kind of a combination of some snow, some sleet and some freezing rain, and that's what most storms that we see have and usually only a little bit. So as long as we're getting light amounts, we'll cover that with a winter weather advisory. But if we start to get more significant amounts that could shut down areas for a day or more, you've got snow and sleet over three inches or damaging ice that's greater than a quarter of an inch. That's when you'd have a winter storm watch issued, and that's usually issued a couple of days in advance. And then it's upgraded to a winter storm warning as we start to get that precipitation a little closer in time within a 24 hour period. Of course, you can have snow and sleet covered roads, you can have glazing on trees and power outages when we do have a winter storm. The winter outlook, though, is is actually for warmer than normal temperatures across the southeast for December, January and February and combined with drier than normal conditions across the southeast. This is pretty typical for a La Nina winter. The last few winters we've had have been La Nina winters, so we're anticipating maybe not a lot of storms. You can still get one or two that'll bring you some wintry weather. Yeah, I've got to talk about the tropics too. <laughs> yeah, those are on opposite ends, right? We are, of course, officially finished with the tropical season, but you can still get tropical development and this area here that is southeast of Bermuda could potentially become a subtropical system or a tropical system in the coming days. The name would be Owen. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Now, weather headlines, we've got some rain, as we talked about at the top of the newscast, coming in overnight and throughout the day tomorrow, kind of off and on. Spotty rain Wednesday and Thursday, rain chances again on Friday, and then some cooler air in time for the weekend. So we're actually going to be pretty chilly on the front end of the week, warm up in the middle of the week, and then back to cool for the weekend. Our numbers right now are in the 30s in Reedsville and North Wilkesboro. We've got some mid-40s from Greensboro down to Lexington and Ashboro. Haven't seen much in the way of rain so far, maybe a spring sprinkle here or there over Guilford County up toward Reedsville, but we are getting some steadier rain starting to move in over the mountains and that light to moderate rain will come down Highway 421 and also over toward McGrady and Trap Hill. So you can see the steady rain staying largely to our south, but we do have this batch that we're going to deal with in the overnight. So that will likely still be kind of hanging around when you wake up tomorrow morning and as you're heading off to school and to work. So make sure you've got rain jackets, make sure you've got extra time too, as we do have some scattered showers kind of throughout the night and then through the day tomorrow when it's not raining, we'll have clouds. I don't think it's going to rain all day, but it'll at least have an opportunity for some showers. So you'll want to have the rain jacket handy if you do have some holiday shopping or some things you need to get done tomorrow. High temperature up to about 54 in the triad. We'll look for the rain to diminish some by late afternoon. For the foothills, high temperature 52 after a morning start at 42. And then our mountain high is up to about 50 tomorrow, also with significant rain chances, especially early in the day. Seven day forecast, we may get into the 60s for Wednesday and Thursday, and we'll be cool again in time for the weekend. Stay with us, we'll be right back.